What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur back with another video. This one, I want to talk about starting a business the Ty Lopez way. If you don't know who Ty Lopez is, he's the guy that is sitting in his garage and it's like here in my garage with the you know Lamborghini, all this stuff. And he's always talking about knowledge and books and, and so on and so forth. You probably know who he is. Obviously you do. If you know who Ty Lopez is, hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any comments as to whether you like him or not, Put it in the comment section below because I'd love to hear exactly what everyone else thinks. So, how do you start a business the Ty Lopez way? Well, I actually want to show you a little diagram I put together because this should explain it very well. So, here is my little diagram and I'm going to go over to his YouTube channel in just a second and kind of walk you through a little bit of this as well. But, what you need to understand is you got Ty Lopez right here in the middle, okay? And the way Ty Lopez runs uh, his business or businesses is he networks with people, right? That's the smartest thing to do. Ty Lopez does not, you know, create, you know, like I think his latest one is uh, he's promoting and he's doing like uh, interviews and uh, videos with uh, this guy, this you know younger kid that's talking about like credit and credit repair or something like that. You think Ty Lopez is worried about credit? Probably not. You know, does he keep an eye on it? Yeah, probably. But do you think he's worried about oh his credit cards and his balances and all this stuff and getting racking up the most you know uh, credit possible? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but he is trying to sell a course that, or the guy's course, he's promoting it with him, and so that's just networking. Okay, and the reason why you see all these, look at these names. You got Mark Cuban, Grant Cardone, Ben Shapiro, Russell Brunson, Rihanna, Gary V, Jordan Belfort. You have all these bigger name people, you know, in different spaces. You know, Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, Grant Cardone, you know, Cardone University, Mark Cuban, uh, you know, billionaire. Uh, owner of the Dallas Mavericks, Jordan Belfort, Wolf on Wall Street, Rihanna, Gary V. Okay. Anyway, you have all these big name people, and he associates his name himself with these people. So now, when no no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, you will probably see Ty Lopez pop up. Whether it will be an advertisement, or it will be one of his videos, or a an Instagram post, or something on Facebook, or wherever you're at, you'll probably see something of his. So let's talk about a little bit more right here on his YouTube channel. So these are just his most popular videos. Let's talk about this one. Okay. This was done two months ago, has 11 million views. The $170 million Bitcoin pizza. Okay. I don't know. I didn't watch his video, but it's probably pretty interesting, right? 11 million people watched it. Now, if 11 million people watch this video, do you think Ty Lopez invests in Bitcoin? Yeah, probably. Did he put together a course? Maybe I have no idea. Okay, but he had, but he's selling, he's promoting, he has a course on Bitcoin. Okay, on cryptocurrencies, he has one on social media marketing. Um, where's that one? Um, I'm not sure where it's at, but he has one on starting a social media marketing company. He has one on his his regular 67 steps. Um, he has stuff on just just different books that he's um obviously he's reading he has his uh, i think it's like the book a day club or something like that but he has all these different things that these big name people are helping him you know promote simply because and it's not because they're you know sending emails and running ads for him but just by getting the their name associated with him that's a big deal and that's what most people don't realize when you are starting a business and i highly recommend this you know start a business the ty lopez way Get your name associated with some other people. For example, let's say if you know I was going to be a professional basketball player, I'd want to be you know uh, also associated with LeBron James, you know Stephen Curry, uh, you know Kevin Durant. Uh, maybe you know back you know when you know Shaq and Kobe played, it'd be with them. Or you know when Michael Jordan was playing, it was with you know be associated with Michael Jordan, like Scottie Pippen. You think Scottie Pippen would have been as good as he he is or was? If he didn't have Michael Jordan right there with him, who knows? But he didn't have to worry about that because he had it. Okay. Do you think Ty Lopez would be as big as he is today if he didn't have those mentors that helped him along the way? I guarantee you, each one of these people, Grant Cardone, is a mentor, is helping him with real estate. Russell Brunson, I guess, or I, I bet you, is a is a um, is a mentor of his, helping him with funnels and building, uh, you know, the back end stuff, you know, maybe, uh, Ty Lopez wants to sing. Rihanna's probably going to help him with that. Out of all these people, I'd say Rihanna would be the best one. 
Okay, Gary V, uh, building his brand, motivation, giving you know free advice, stuff like that. Just being everywhere. Uh, I think Gary V would be a great person to you know talk to about that. Uh, maybe Mark Cuban, you know Ty Lopez. He's always at uh, professional sporting events, so maybe Mark Cuban is going to talk to him about, hey, you need to do this if you ever want to own a professional uh, sports team, a sp professional uh, you know franchise. And he's probably looked into that like thing, huh? All right, I need to talk to this guy. This is one of my mentors. So, and I just want to leave this, uh, leave this for you guys because I know so many people struggle with how can I start a business? What is the right method for me to get going? And honestly, sometimes the best method to start a business, and like I'm like the whole video I'm showing you right now, starting a business the Ty Lopez way simply means getting your name out there, getting people to talk about you and getting them to do your promoting for you because when he's out there when he's doing interviews and he's giving away money and and free uh you know ipads and you know the iphone x and you know free all this stuff um when he's doing that what he's doing is he's drawing buzz around his name and whatever he is trying to offer so people are going to go follow him on youtube on instagram on facebook on twitter on snapchat pretty much everywhere because he's giving away not only value but stuff that is valuable, like an iPhone X, like an iPad, like a MacBook, whatever it is he's offering, or just a hundred or a thousand dollars cash. If you ever go to his uh, Instagram account, you're gonna see he's always doing uh, Instagram stories, and he's talking about you know the next person that comments or certain people that comment on my Instagram post will be entered into a, a chance to win two hundred dollars directly to PayPal. So how many people do you think are going to go and comment on that stuff? So, and every time somebody comments, it helps him be be found by more and more people. Okay. So when I say start up, starting a business the Ty Lopez way, I'm talking about you put it out there. You put out just an immense amount of value and, a, and you're entertaining and people love you and, and you got your following, got a kind of cult, a cult like following and all these people are going to push your products, push your services, push your brand for you. So the whole time you can sit back and run your business and you don't got to worry about spending thousands and thousands of dollars on advertising your product or your business or your service because those other people are going to do it for you. Their word of mouth and then social media on top of that is going to be huge. Okay. So you need to understand that and you don't need big, big name friends like Grant Cardone and Gary V and and uh, you know Mark Cuban and stuff like that. you know yeah if you have them great but you don't need them okay so let's say I was gonna start uh, uh, you know let's say this was me right here and I want to be bigger in the you know eBay space or something like that maybe I'd go and I'd uh, I'd want to reach out to uh, you know Rakin profit you know Steve Rakin uh, he has a YouTube channel he has social media accounts all that stuff then maybe uh, Reezy resells uh, maybe um, uh, what some whatever picker or whatever and then I'd go and I'd reach out to you know uh, the people over at uh, um, Side Hustle Pros you know uh, Charles Leslie um, and I'd keep going and I'd, I'd make this you know graph okay I'd, I'd know who I should reach out to because I'm gonna be launching this new product or this new service or this new app or whatever it is and you need to think about that is who are a hundred people that you could potentially get in front of who could potentially use your product or your service or or learn more from what it is you have to offer okay again I don't do eBay so that's probably the reason why I don't know uh, all these people that do eBay but you know rake and profit uh, easy resells side hustle pros uh, I, I do know I do know them okay so anyway go follow those accounts if you don't already follow them go follow them Okay, quick little shout out for him. Uh, you know, all of them hustling, killing it, you know, doing great things. So, but I just want to get that out there. Okay. If you guys want to start a business, then start one. Okay. Doesn't matter what your business is. You got you right here in the middle. I'm gonna write that in. There you go. You. If you're learning something here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. Just write learning. That's it. Just write learning in the comment section. But that's all you have to do is you got you here. And then surround yourself with people that you know could potentially use your product or service or use whatever it is you're going to sell. Okay. They could benefit you in some way by promoting to an email list or their, their social media following or just doing a quick little video on YouTube. 
Okay, it's the exact same thing. It's just like if somebody's gonna go door to door knocking on the doors, be like, hey, you need, you want your, your lawn mowed? Uh, I know a person that can do that for you. But instead, they're right here on social media, be like, you know, instead of knocking on the door, they get an email or a post over on Facebook or a new video on YouTube and be like, hey, do you need to lose weight? Well, I have this, uh, one of my friends, one of my associates, a partner of mine, uh, he just released his new course. You should probably check it out it's just the best thing you've ever seen. I lost, you know, five pounds in, you know, in, you know, five minutes or something like that. I don't know, but you get the point. Don't lie to them, but you get the point is they will help you spread the word on your business. So when I'm talking about starting a business, the Ty Lopez way, that's what I mean. Build people around you that are willing and not, not that you're forcing them to, but they are happy because they are your cult like following that are going to push your brand build your business and promote it for you without you having to pay them or do anything for them. Okay. All you're doing is putting something in front of them and they are happy to do the rest. Okay. So again, if you learn anything from this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you like Ty Lopez or you dislike him, let me know in the comment section below why you like him. It's probably because he's entertaining or why you don't like him. Maybe it's because he runs constant ads all the time and you're getting sick of seeing his face. You know, whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. Anyway, hit that thumbs up button if you learned something from today's video. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.